Okay, let's see if this works. Alright, this is the first time I'm actually officially recording this game. Let's see, just want to do a quick demo. I have a lot of things here. But one project I've been working on is trying to connect the sun to the planet Cat. And anyone who knows this game, there is no direct route except for Earth, the ADS, and then the Cat. But for that, you need orbital correction. Which is going to cost you time and fuel. So my little project is to have a marker out there to do it. Aim for a spot and you'll get there. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use, oh, and if you don't know, these are my two interceptors. One Orion class, the other one Soyuz class. They're designed to go around the system quickly, so they can spend a lot of fuel. That's their point. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the Soyuz back. I'm going to get Orion ready. We are at the center of the solar system. And now you can see two marks up there. I see or you see T3 and T6. T3 is the one we want to go to cap. T6 is the return. This is the tricky part. Time in this and aim in it is not easy. I've done this before. I'm going to double my speed to get there faster. I'm a little pressed for time with this recording. And that should be more than double. Let's see what we have. Alright, looks like we're on the line. If you notice that the dot is above the red line on T3, that is a problem, so we're going to fix that a little bit. The idea is to shoot straight at the planet, but at the point of entry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Right there. Because I want that line over here. Oops, sorry. You saw why I touched. I want that line with the dot right on top of it. You see, you can you can see the cat coordinates faded out because we're far away. But that's the point. Oops, my bad. Yeah, my phone's going crazy. Like I said, this is the first time I'm using this app from Samsung that records in-game in walkthroughs or gameplays, whatever you like to call it. Anyways. And it looks like we're right on the money. I may be slightly obsessive with this game, but it's because I find it fascinating that... There it goes, there it goes, see? There, that's T3. I only did one orbital correction. This is long distance. The biggest problem is Cat and Soul are so far apart, they're beyond a thousand units in this system. And anything beyond a thousand units, you don't see it on your screen. You could see it right here in the navigations. Right 
right there. But from a soul, that's more than a thousand. Because look at this. You go back to soul. Distance is now reaching 800. By the time it reaches a thousand, it will disappear and you are a hundred units away from cat. And to get from the soul to cat, instead of from earth to ADS and then to cat, it's better to have like a reference point, like a midway point that you can aim for. And you can have like a straight shot to the planet. Although it may have to be fixed because the way I've been testing this has been a little tricky. I may have to adjust the coordinates of T3. Now obviously you can take it to guess. Oh, you see? Soul disappeared just now. And here, oh my god. Forgot to slow down. If I crash, that's my fault. I forgot to slow down. The hope is I can slow down long enough. Oh my god. Oh no 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 no. Slow down. Slow, 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 slow. Okay. Oh my god. Oh boy. That's another point of advice. Do not forget to slow it down if you're going double your speed. If you're going at red speed. Oh my god, that was too close. I would have lost my interceptor. Okay. But there you have it. it you have a midpoint that will help you get across the big void of space. So you have a quicker shortcut to cat from the center of the solar system. And then from there you can go to Emma, then to Jordan, or Jor as how you like to say it. That's Jack, which is a, a custom station I made. But there's ADS, you see it? Right over here. Nope, sorry, my bad. Right up there, that's ADS. So the solar system, the center of it, is here. What we're going to do now is we're going to use Orion to fire us back to the center of the solar system and get into orbit around the sun. On T6. Ready. Three, two, one. Mark. We missed it. But you see, this is the best part. You can turn around. All you have to do is fire the engine slightly and you're back on course. I'm going to fire the engines, double my speed. And this time I will remember to slow down. Let's not double this, let's go more. In the meantime, I gotta refuel. Almost there.
if you like to know a little fact, all those points that says RLS, JEK or Jack, T3 or T6, they're all points made using this ship that I made. This combination of uh, spacecrafts. Two tankers, two hubs, one oxygen hub, oh not hub, uh, oxygen, what you call it? Module, there we go. And two solar panels with one resupply ship for cargo space for the water. And an Orion spacecraft. I find it very effective to move around the system as fast as possible because I did do this before to chase after rogue spacecrafts. Of course, I had the option of deleting those spacecrafts, but it was more fun trying to use like an, uh, an intercept type to catch up with a running spacecraft. So I really do like this game. It's very interesting and even though it's limited with its missions, you can actually create your own missions like this one, which I hope will help anyone else who's trying to, oh my god, no. That's another thing I forgot to mention. When you do slow down, you have to make sure you have enough distance to slow down. Otherwise, like you saw earlier, you nearly burned up in the atmosphere, cat. Or worse, with any other planet that doesn't have an atmosphere, you're going to crash. Simple as that. And make sure always that there's nothing in your way in that planet. Now you know we have the Soyuz already up ahead. Let's see where we are when we enter. It looks like T6 is more accurate. But in, in truth, it's, it's not. The reason why it falls or feels a little more accurate is because the sun has a bigger uh, radius. Yeah, that's what it is. The sun has a larger gravitational radius. If you know this game, you know that the moon has the smallest one. So it's, it's not really good to have something orbiting over there, even though I do have something there already. Alright, let's see where we end up. There's the sun's lines, its gravity field, and look at that. We came out ahead of the of the Soyuz interceptor. And we are locked. We are in orbit. So there you have it, a demonstration of a midpoint intercept, or I don't know, I'm going to come up with the name of this, I'll workshop the name. Oh, fun fact, the space shuttle is here, but that's another day. Thank you for watching.